Poland has taken the lead in helping Ukraine both through humanitarian measures and military support. Now the country is taking the lead when it comes to standing up to Russia. Polish Defense Minister Marius Blazak has declared that Poland will have the most powerful land forces in Europe due to the massive investments by the government, which recently raised the defense budget to 3% of GDP. This is one of the highest levels in NATO, and it will not stop at this, since it aims to further increase it to 5%. A major portion of the funds are going into acquiring new tanks, and this will potentially enable the Polish army to have one of the most powerful tank forces in Europe. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Poland is amassing 1,600 modern tanks against Russia. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Poland forms one portion of NATO's eastern flank. The country is strategically located, sharing long borders with Belarus and Ukraine. As the Russia-Ukraine conflict rages on, Poland has become a staging ground for foreign arms and other military supplies heading into Ukraine. Poland itself has provided various weapons like tanks and howitzers. Earlier this year, Poland donated over 240 of its Soviet-designed T-72 tanks to Ukraine. A few days ago, Ukraine confirmed that Poland has also supplied an unspecified number of PT-9120 tanks, which are an upgraded version of the T-72. Poland has been the second biggest donor of military equipment to Ukraine this year, behind only the U.S. With Russia's actions in Ukraine as the backdrop and Kremlin's increasing rhetoric against the West, Poland is now starting to arm itself on an urgent basis. A two-stage deal with South Korea will see Poland acquire almost 1,000 K-2 Black Panther tanks. Polish Defense Minister Marius Blazik said, in the first batch, we will get 180 tanks. Deliveries will start this year. The second stage is over 800 tanks of the K2PL standard, which will be produced in Poland by the Polish defense industry thanks to a transfer of technology we negotiated. Eventually, the tanks received in the first stage will also be Polonized and brought to the K2PL standard. Blazik said the first installment of the 180 Black Panthers will be produced this year. The scale and speed of the multi-billion dollar deal caught some analysts off guard. South Korean-made K-2 Black Panther tanks will join Poland's growing arsenal of foreign-produced armor designed to replace the T-72 and PT-91 tanks it sent to Ukraine. The K-2 Black Panther is the main battle tank designed, developed, and manufactured in South Korea by the South Korean company Hyundai Rotem. The K-2 was unveiled for the first time to the public during the defense exhibition ADEX at the Seoul Airport in October 2009. The main armament of the K-2 Black Panther consists of a German-made Rheinmetall 120mm L55 smoothbore gun produced under license in South Korea, whose variant arm M1 Abrams Leopards. Polish Defense Minister Marius Blazik 
said that South Korea was the only player that could provide new weapons fast enough. It's extremely important that the first deliveries of howitzers and tanks will take place this year, he said at the signing ceremony. Poland's defense minister had earlier confirmed the country's plans to buy as many as 250 M1A2 Abrams SEP V3 main battle tanks MBTs. As per Polish officials, the first M1A2 shipments are scheduled to be delivered to the Polish military as early as this year. It's also acquiring 116 used Abrams tanks from the US. Blazik had openly stated the reason behind Poland's MBT purchase. Of course, this is a response to the challenges we face in terms of international security. Our task is to deter a potential aggressor. We all know where that aggressor is, clearly indicating the threat from Russia. Not only did Blazik cite a specific rival, but also identified a particular Russian asset. So we are ordering the most modern tanks tanks available in the best equipped version, tanks that are combat proven, tanks which were constructed to counter the most modern Russian T-14 Armada tanks. T-14 tanks are currently available in very low numbers but could see a significant increase in the coming days. Viewers may note that Poland already has about 250 German-made Leopard 2A4 and A5 main battle tanks, which are reasonably modern. It will be in the path of acquiring a 1,600-strong main battle tank force consisting of 980 K2 Black Panther, 366 Atoms, and 250 Leopards. For comparison, according to Global Firepower, Germany has 266 battle tanks in service, and France 406. Blazik said the deal goes beyond merely filling the gaps we have in our armed forces and represents a strategic approach, including technology transfers, that will see Poland build many of the South Korean weapons and cooperate with Seoul long into the future. In January last year, the Polish military conducted a massive simulated war game against Russia's western military district named Winter 20. While the intricate details are classified, the outcome was demoralizing for Poland. As per reports, Poland was not able to defend against the Russian assault for more than five days. In light of what Ukraine has been able to accomplish against Russia, the study may seem off the mark. But Poland is in no mood to take things lightly, and following the saying, it's better to be safe than sorry. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.